Don't blame us, okay? We are drunk. Yes! Happy New Month! We're chilling! We're ch Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Sean Ray. So in today's video, we'll be talking about questions you can ask your friend. Questions you're afraid to ask your friend. She and I really vibe. We are like sisters. Okay, so we can ask each other anything. She came for her hair, but I figured we do this little video for you guys. And I'm going to be asking her questions I haven't asked her before. So let's see how unless she's going to be. Okay, so what's your spec in a man? Like, what should I do, man? Okay, so I don't really have a spec in a man. Okay. Um, but I hate muscular guys. Oh, you don't like yeah, muscular guys? I, it, it freaks me out. Oh. Guys that are all boxed up, like bounces. I, oh. I, I no, no, for me, but really? other than that, I'm cool. I like a guy that I can vibe, I can vibe with a god fearing guy, someone that will respect exactly. me. Yeah, wow, yeah, just... I actually don't like a short guy, like, <laughs> yeah, short guys. I, I, I can't, I, I can't, I'm short, so I know, I, can't, I know, right? I can't see myself, <laughs> guys. I'm short, but I'm not that, that short. <laughs> I don't see myself being with a short guy. Yeah, too. my husband I is mean, tall. Like, if you're hugging the guy, it won't really, you know, be that cozy. Okay, so I have a question for you. Okay. When do you think a person is ready for marriage? Um, I think whenever you you feel in your heart you're ready. Because but how can you tell? Like. Okay, now I'm ready to settle down. Is it like it goes both ways with you and your partner, or you pick and feel it? I don't know. Um, that is, you, your partner and yourself will feel that you want to settle down. Okay. Like enough of the playing games, enough of the single life. Let me just settle down and have a family. And yeah, build but together. when, when, when? How do you know? How you can happen? spend the rest of your life with this person? Mm -hmm. So let me spend the rest of my life with this person. by getting married okay. and settling down when you, you don't feel like you don't want to lose that person yes and also you always want that person around you exactly okay. and also there's i feel when you know deep in your heart that you're ready and you want to settle down okay so but then again but then again um project how would you differentiate like okay if you are dating a particular person and you guys get married it's, it's, it's the same thing right um no there's what different... changes from relationship to like okay we are married there's a difference between relationship and marriage marriage is you're not going to school it's like you're not going to school you're not starting life okay on its own relationship you can meet someone today and be in a relationship with the person but it takes a lot to just meet somebody today and get married to the person marriage <laughs> is hard work Relationship, you can just be in a relationship and tell yourself one day I'm quitting. Okay. But you can't just do that with marriage. Mm -hmm. It takes. But there's divorce also. Yeah, there's divorce. That's what I'm saying. Those that don't really understand the meaning of marriage, divorces. So do you believe in love at first sight? I'll say yes and no. Why? Because, you know, that thing people <laughs> say love at first sight. Oh. So wait, have you never? You've never seen someone be like, oh, okay. I've I've seen someone that I've been attracted to, then I wish the person is my boyfriend, but okay. not. So that is love at first sight. No, I, no, I don't call it love. It's attraction. Like, but see somebody, and I'm so much he head over heels in love. I go <laughs> home and I dream about the person. I, I can't fall in love with you that that day. That I have to like see certain things out because you can't fall in love with someone the first time you meet the person, and yeah. later you be in a relationship with the person, and the person is showing their true colors Palace, or true. for who they are. My dear, love at first sight don't exist. Yeah, it don't Maybe exist. Then, but now I don't, it don't think it exists in this part of our world. It exactly. don't exist. I know. Yeah. So I think to... you are asking me. <laughs> I'm supposed to be asking you questions. I know, but, but my question led into three different questions. I mean, from how would you know you are ready for marriage? Okay. To let's go. It, it let's just go. had to, you know. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so I have a question for you. Again, okay. Yeah, again. So, what's the one thing that people always misunderstand about you? Wow, that's yeah. a tough question. Like, I've never thought about. Wow. Should I ask you again? Wow. The question is, what's the one thing that people always misunderstand about you? I think my genuineness, like Ooh. me being genuine. Like people misunderstand me to be like, oh maybe this girl she's faking or maybe this girl she's not genuine as okay. she is portraying herself to be. But I am genuine. I'm a loving person. Um, um, she can tell you. She can testify. I'm sweet. But if you attack me, I will attack you like twice. Period. Okay. So what about you? The one thing that I feel like people always misunderstand about me is that my silence. I'm not the type of person that attack, mm -hmm. even with family, friends. Mm -hmm. They can be really annoying. Yeah. But even my boyfriend, if someone offends me and I go and tell him, like, babe, do you know this person did this and that? The one thing you ask me is, what did you tell the person? Mm -hmm. I mean, were you able to defend yourself? That's one thing I like about him. He always wants me to defend myself. Exactly. So if I don't, then what, he'll be like, why are you telling me? You should have sent this back to the person yeah. and sent this back to the person. But sometimes too. I also feel that silence is golden. Because, yes, but some people are stupid. Mm -hmm. Like, today's generation, they are stupid enough that if you don't give them back what they, they keep give, doing they, it and keep pouring, 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 yeah, they keep yeah. pouring that, that negativity on See, you. Okay. What's your biggest fear in life? Hmm. My biggest failure is fail. Hey. <laughs> your biggest fear. My biggest fear is failure. I mean, failure of not making it alive. Failure of disappointing my family. Failure of disappointing myself. Yes. Okay. Because I really want to make it like it is is hard. But well, I just want to make it. Yeah. So I have that would be your biggest fear. my biggest fear is not making it in this life. It's being okay. Yes. Our best life, mm -hmm. life. Period. Period. Yeah. So shout out to you, that big girl, baby. I love you. Mwah. That beat God. Yes. The yes. best producer ever. Yes, sir. <laughs> like the. <laughs> yes, yeah, so okay. your question. So my question. Are you still asking me? No, I think you are asking me. Yes, yeah, so okay. If you could change your name, your first name, what would it be? My first name. Yeah. Um Shaniqua, like my daughter. I Why? Love, I don't know, I just love that name. What's that's the that meaning? Come, when I had a girl, I had to name her Shaniqua. Shaniqua means beautiful. Ooh. It means a beautiful, charming. You know, like, yeah, she's like, cool. would you rather be an ugly genius or good looking and stupid? Oh, yes, good looking and stupid or an ugly genius. Okay, I'd rather be an ugly genius because people nowadays, if you ask some type of way different from how people normally act, you're stupid to them already. Mm -hmm. You're stupid. If everybody's going north and you're going south, you're already stupid. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather be an, a stupid genius and let the rest of the people that think they know look figure stupid. Yeah, figure it out. They are stupid, not me. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so this life, like I said, whatever you do that is different from what. Yo, baby, yeah, yeah, Becca, you are stupid. So I'd rather be an ugly genius. She has to our ugly geniuses. That is the saying I always say. Yeah. I would rather die rich than to die poor. We'll be wrapping up. So, um, what what advice would you give your viewers, people watching you, okay. about life in general? First and foremost, I want everyone to be themselves. See, this life, once you are yourself, the world will adjust. Do you for you. Be happy. Don't look at what someone else is doing to please yourself or to intimidate yourself. Right now, everybody on social media is living a fake life. If you're looking at what someone else is doing, you won't be happy. So, at the end of the day, be you and do you for you. Exactly. Yes, baby. Thank you so much for coming on, coming to my show. <laughs>
Thank you guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you, thank you so much for coming. On thank to you my for show. having me, darling. I had fun. I hope we do this more. So cheers to long life, prosperity, um, more blessings, more um. We have life. We've got everything. True. That's all we need. So yeah. yeah. So cheers to. Um, coronavirus, we are going out of our life. We don't for good. Keep, yeah, for good. And cheers to um Nigeria for Independence Day. Right? Yeah, it's true. Nigeria will be sixty years today. Mm -hmm. Happy Independence Day to all my Nigerian brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. I have Nigerian friends like a lot. She's a Nigerian actually. Yeah, I'm a lot of soap now. Wait till the apple. Wait till now. Wait till now.